Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Leilani. You could also call me Lei, and I want to talk to you about Morbius simply because I'm about to forget what the hell just happened in this movie. And I just finished it about an hour ago, okay? And the lighting's bad. It is later at night. I am sorry. I apologize already. And my mind, I can't even put into words what I'm feeling, you know? Because I'm feeling a lot. And you're probably like, didn't you see the reviews? Didn't you look at the percentage? Yes. Yes. I knew. I knew. I know. But <laughs> the fact that I watched it and then I seen what they were going for and the fact that this movie had potential and it wasn't executed well just disappoints me so much because how is it delayed? And then this is the result. You know what it reminds me of? I'm going to tell you. Let me tell you. It reminds me when a teacher, you, you turn in a paper, right? You get an F. The teacher says, I'm going to do you solid. I'm going to give you one week to redo it. You change a few lines, make another like comma mark somewhere, turn it to the teacher. She gives you a D minus. That's what this feels like feels like you half-assed another project, you know? You know? Let me tell you where it went wrong. CGI messed up a whole lot of things. The slow motion messed up a whole lot of things. Pacing and the characters. And you're probably like, you didn't like any characters? No. And it's simply because... Of how things were put together. Okay? Let me tell you. Because you don't have time to connect with anybody. Because the film throws throws things at you. Right? You're like, here's some information. Here's some information about his past. Do you know who Milo is? Milo's Maurice's best friend. Who also has the same rare blood disease as him. Wow, one childhood scene, and then we're supposed to see them connect? No, no, no. Right? There's supposed to be a love interest. When did you form this connection or we're supposed to care? There's supposed to be... Let me not, let me not. I don't want to spoil anything. But I want, you know, that's how I'm feeling because there's so much that happened that nothing happened at the same time, you know, let me, let me give you a rundown. The CGI is messed up simply because, you know, okay, think of X-Men, think of X-Men. I think the character's called the Nightcrawler, the blue dude who poofs everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? Not poofs. He poofs into smoke, but he teleports places, you know? And that's what Morbius and the villain are doing. They're CGI poof fighting into each other. But you don't get to see little literal fights. You just see them hold on to each other smash S smash on a wall and then close-ups i'm talking with my hands which means i'm feeling some type of way so you get close-ups of their face of their face of the cgi version of their vampire selves i've never laughed so much during a movie it's not supposed to be funny and i'm sorry because it probably took so much effort for CGI that I could never do. But in my head, I'm like, you have so much money and you could have done better. Well, side note to that, the slow motion fight. I had a, my best friend and I were in sync because we looked at each other and we're like, is this a Snyder film? Why is there slow motion scenes? And then speaking of, 
well, I wasn't screaming up Schneider, but the soundtrack. But here's 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 what well, well, the soundtrack. But when you listen to it, it reminds you of the Batman trilogy, and you're like, oh no, oh no. Especially there's a scene I could I could spoil this because it's in the trailer, where Michael Morbius steps into this room and bats surround him. The instrumentals, the soundtrack that plays, sounds exactly like Batman from Batman Begins. And you're like, no. Like, we had to double check after the film to see if, if it was The Dark Knight in, or Batman Begins. The other thing, like, we'll do parallels, right? Because that's... That's how I form my stuff. In the Batman, when he is swarmed by bats, it's uplifting, inspirational, gives meaning to Batman's character. When Morbius steps into the room with the same music that sounds similar, it just seems like he just stepped into a room. It doesn't, like, oh... The bats have now become my best friend because I have injected their blood into my system. Boy, no. Right? Another, here, here's a potential. This is what the film wanted. A hallway scene. We love a good hallway scene, right? And you're like, what do you mean a good hallway scene? Here's some examples. Star Wars, where the lightsaber fights. Hmm? That's a good hallway scene. Or the recent The Batman that just came out with Robert Pattinson. Pattinson, whatever. Um, when he gets off the elevator, there's a hallway scene where bullets ricochet off of him with beautiful lighting. So we love a good hallway scene. The hallway scene in Morbius feels like what the movie wanted to go for. But since it's PG-13, they cut it. It feels like a horror movie. And it's like you, the potential, the potential, because there's not even like blood in this film, despite it being a vampire movie, there's like blood and blood bags, but it's not like, it's not like gory when you know I want it to be gory, because when Michael Morbius drinks the blood from the blood bag, he Tilts his head back like he's shotgunning a beer. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that with every scene that he's in. But you don't see like blood anywhere. And maybe you see like a, a little drop of blood. But it's not like when people are dying. And they're getting slashed up. It's not like blood. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many ways that they could have portrayed it. So you could feel like he was hungry, other than him CGI anamorphing to his vampire self. Because all I can think about is I'm I'm comparing stuff, ready? If you watch the vampire diaries, which a lot of people probably haven't, there's a season four. I don't know what season. A season where one of the main vampires, Stefan, is now controlled by bloodlust. And when he drinks from blood bags, he literally grabs it and bites through the whole thing. Instead of just like twisting it and like shotgunning it. You know what I'm saying? So, there's so much potential that they could have done. The characters... There's no character development simply because there's no character connections because you don't have the information you need for them to be love interest, best friends, whatever. Simply because it was like cut out. Like you, it's like a time jump. Like you know they're supposed to be friends. You, you see the potential in them being together. But it's... It doesn't work out. So I didn't care for anything. 
there's supposed to be sad scenes in this film. I'm not spoiling it, but there's supposed to be sad scenes to characters who have, first of all, they shouldn't have done what they've done, but characters who have potential and they're now no longer there. And you're like, why did you waste the character? Especially, I can't, I can't say it because it'll be a spoiler, but I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I won't say it, but whatever. Well, disregard that. The other thing is there's two post credit scenes which they could have just mashed into one. And also, <laughs> I can't, I just want to spoil everything. But let me tell you something. I decided to rewatch the trailer when I got home because I was like, did I, did I understand this movie? No. But there's so many scenes that are in the trailer that's not in the film. So anything, I'll tell you this. If you're like, oh my god, Spider-Man. No, oh my god, Spider-Man. The, the spray paint murder sign, not on there. The dialogue that's supposed to be comedy that's in the film, not in there. The, the Michael Keaton, he's... Not in there. <laughs> like, not really in there. No spoilers, but you know what I'm saying? And then, Tyrese Gibson. I didn't even remember he was in the trailer. So when I seen him, I was like, oh, he plays a detective who's supposed to be like this grumpy detective. And he has a partner who's supposed to be comic relief. Nothing made me laugh other than <laughs> the CGI grr faces. When you watch it, you're going to know what I'm talking about when I say grr. But um, in the trailer, it sounds like he's supposed to be like semi-buddies or understanding of Michael Morbius. In the film? It's like, I'm going to get you, F you, you're going to jail, lock him up. And I'm like, who are you, sir? And then like how they connect dots doesn't make sense. Like you could easily lie. You could easily lie. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So I feel like this review isn't even a review other than me just a semi half ranting. But, um, yeah, I'm so sad. So sad. But, uh, I'm going to sleep. Sorry that this is a shitty review. But if you watched it, let me know what you thought. So, see you in the next video. Bye.